So the bare bows of the frame have now been made for the bulkhead and now we need to start getting in position. So we've set up some trestles as you can see, because obviously as you're aware we've got a very nice island under here, we don't want to do any damage to that. So we've got this set up to keep the worktop safe. So what we're going to do now, I've marked on the ceiling the centre points. So we're going to now offer the lightweight frame up, we're going to mark around that and then what I'm going to do is make some small incisions into the ceiling to ensure there's no pipes in the way and then we can get decent fixings in everywhere because there's a lot of weight to this so we need to make sure that we're very well anchored into the joist above. If you remember from the previous project series, we've got some very good chunky timbers up there to support for the bath. So these will work well as well to obviously hold this up in situ. I'll set up some time lapse and you can watch us do this. So guys, the last you saw, we were getting the framework up for this bulkhead above the island, and now it is finished. Well, obviously it's not fully finished, it's plasterboarded, and the lighting first fix is done. All the beads are on ready, so the plaster will be in tomorrow to get this skimmed. As you can see, we've got this radius here, which is actually a replication of this breakfast bar under here, so that mirrors that. We've got some nice lights fitted in there, as you can see. The extractor will go in the middle here, but the reason we've left this like this is just purely for plastering. It makes it a lot easier just to actually skim it when it's like this, one complete board, rather than trying to cut this out first and then skim to it. It'll give us a much better finish, so then it can just be cut out afterwards, and then the hood will fit perfectly to it then around the edges. So yeah, as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Up the top there as well, there's an LED strip which will go all the way around. There's a little bit of plasterboard there that you can notice missing. We've just got to get some little connections in there for the LED strip. But apart from that, it is good to go. So guys, today is the day that we plaster the bulkhead. You've seen the process of building it. So now the final thing to do is get it plastered. Clients have decided they want some nice oak shelving putting across here. We've got a diagram there. So basically the edges of the shelves will replicate the angle of this roof. So there's going to be three. One going across there, one there, and one just up there. So what we've got to do with these, because there's quite a bit of a distance behind this, because this wall is actually quite far out, so we had to obviously change that with the dabs. So the wall is actually like at an angle like that behind it. So there's quite a bit of a void behind there towards this end of the wall. Because these shelves are going to be floating shelves, there's going to be no visible brackets to hold it. What we're going to do is actually drill holes through here and then use some threaded bar and then chemically fix them into that with some resin anchor, which you may have seen us using in one of our previous videos. Then once that's gone off there, we'll then do the same process into the back of the oak shelf and that will hold that absolutely solid there. You'll be able to sit on them shelves and they won't move at all. So what we'll do, I'll set up a time lapse and you can watch me get these holes ready and do these oak shelves. So 
So all the holes are drilled and ready. So now the next process is to get our threaded bar, which is this, uh, insert it into the hole and mark up exactly the depth. And then we can work out then exactly how much we're gonna put into the shelf. So as you can see, the process will be, get it in, tape around it, mark up which hole it's uh, referenced to. Yeah, I'll repeat this process across all the holes. And then once I've done that then, all these bars can be cut. We'll get the holes properly cleaned out. If you remember from our anchor resin fix video, you've got to get our little blowy tool in there, blow all the dust out, get a little brush in, pull it out, hoover. You know, that's quite a long process just to make sure that resin actually bonds in there. But we've got to do that just to make sure we get that exact perfect mechanical fixing that we're after. Once we've done all that then, we can get the resin in and then we can get the bars in, make sure they're level and get that all set. So we've got all the holes drilled as you've seen and we've got all the bars marked out so we know where to cut them and now the next process is to get the holes ready for the anchor resin. So there's going to be two tools used here. We're going to use this which is a little blower, basically like a balloon pump. Pumps air through this tube here so we put that into the hole, pump it a few times, it'll blow loads of dust out. Then we'll get this little brush, again push that in the hole, give it a twist and pull, pull more dust out and then we'll repeat that process three or four times. Get the hoover in there, make sure there's no excess dust in there and and then we can get the resin put in. Next stage is to get them resin fixed in. So the easy way to do this to make sure that the bars are actually straight and plumb in those holes is to make up a frame like this. So this is our template. So what we've done is we've made this up out of a four by two and some sheets of ply. We've drilled the holes in the right place, obviously offered it up there, get all the mark with our laser to make sure that them holes are exactly the same as these holes. And then what we'll do is then we'll take this piece of ply off and put it on the back. And then we'll put some additional battens on the back there just to take it off the wall slightly. So what that means is when we put the bar in the hole like so, and we bring it through, it holds everything nice and level, exactly where we want it. If we were just to put the bars in there, they could wobble slightly and taper off, which then when we fix our shelf to it, it's obviously gonna have a negative effect on the shelf. All we want this to do is be perfectly level, and this will help us to do that. So as you've just seen, we've chemically fixed the bars into the wall using our little system here. So they're all in there, ready. So all these are perfectly level now. So we know once the resin's gone off, we'll take this off and we know all these bars will be nice and level. So when we fix our shelves to it, they're gonna be level too. Nice and easy, straightforward. It's a bit of a long-winded way to do it, but by doing it this way, it ensures that our levels are exactly where we want them to be. So it's worth doing. Just that little extra step, which makes a difference. So the threaded bars are in the wall, as you can see, they're all in there nice and level. So what I've done now is I've drilled the holes in the backs of these shelves. All we did is offer the shelves up, hold them up on their back and then mark the points and then centralize the points within the shelf and then drill those using a 16 mm arg bit. Because what we're gonna do is obviously put these holes onto the bars, but first of all, we'll fill that with anchor resin. But before I do that, what I need to do is apply some oil. I've already applied the gray oil, the same as the breakfast bar, which is basically a wash really. We put it on and then wipe it straight off and it just stains at the grain really nicely as you can see. And then what we'll do is apply this finishing oil, which makes it a bit more hardy because when it's on there, obviously stuff will be put on and off it so you want it to be protected although aging the oak will look really nice over time you still want to make sure that it's obviously safe you're not going to get damaged too easily so i'll set up a time lapse and you can watch me do this process So you've now seen me put on the two coats of oil. Now what I need to do is let those go off for a little bit and then we can get them mounted on the wall. We need to wait a couple of hours just to make sure it's fully dried because otherwise all that's gonna happen is we're gonna end up with marks all over it because obviously where the oil is gonna dry, you're gonna get oil from your fingers. It's gonna make all sorts of mess. So we'll leave this to fully go off and then it can be mounted onto these bars on the wall. Because we took a little bit of extra time and effort to get it all bang on, all I'm gonna have to do is obviously stick these straight on and then we will put some props in between just to make sure everything's kept perfect. So guys, the showers are in. As you can see, there we go. These sticks in here are just temporary just to make sure everything's held nice and rigid while the resin goes off. But as you can see, they look really, really good. They followed down with a picture of the roof as well, just to give that extra effect there. And obviously the oak, it's staying up the same as the breakfast bar and the table. What I'll do is I'll leave that to go off overnight now, because it's nearly home time. And in the morning we'll pop these out and then take all this out, clear everything up and have a look at the finished product. So 
So guys, I've taken the sticks out from the shelves and there they are, looking really good. They're going nowhere, they're nice and solid, nice and level, exactly how we'd planned, which is really good. They run down with the roof as well, which is nice, really nice feature. It matches in them with the oak breakfast bar and the oak table as well. It's all stained with the same stuff, so they all match in together. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. What have we shown you in this one? So we've shown you exactly how we constructed this lovely cooker hood up here and also how we constructed and installed these oak floating shelves. So if you've liked this video, make sure you smash that like button, give us a big thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notifications so every time we release a video you'll be notified. Take care, see you next time.